Hello, this is a 10-minute media ministry testimony for the encouragement of fellow media uh, missionaries. I am Winelfred G. Pasamba. I help uh, most uh, media ministries. And I have an, a nice uh, story that happened a few weeks ago until uh, last Sabbath. In short, uh, I posted a video about uh, okay let me just summarize uh, this is the one of the most difficult uh, videos that you can ever preach it is about sabbath speci specifically i think they assigned me on this because uh, to organize because it was about sabbath cooking and everybody knows that i'm uh, promoting not cooking on Sabbath and uh, from official writings from the Bible and the Spirit of Prophecy so they assigned me to do this and I was having a hard time uh, getting people who has a testimony and uh, it's quite fearful because you know how people react regarding food where people react regarding cooking on Sabbath so it was very risky and uh, I tried to make an outline from the sabbath school lesson this was supposed to be the december 19 uh, lesson i think and uh, there were so much arrangement and uh, things happening that i was fearful that uh, it might not go through so i recorded a backup uh, sermon by myself in this video that you're seeing in the screen and i uploaded it supposed to be unlisted but i forgot to i think save the unlisted setting i just uploaded it and edited it as short as possible removed all the mistakes this is me uh, recording by myself in the pic philippine international church i just sneaked in there i tried to record anyway the sabbath school department asked me to record but with a panel so i was having uh, so many challenges getting the panel together and uh, there's uh, you know this is a stressful topic so but uh, within one hour of uploading amazingly uh, I've seen I found a notification and I realized I forgot to make it unlisted and the video already had five views remember this is just a backup video where I'm supposed to make a panel uh, with three more people other than me and that pushed through but this backup video I made it so that it's a practice for me and it is also a backup video just in case the panel will not be able to record from availability or brownout or you know anything can happen when you're preaching the truth so within uh, one hour I got one uh, five views accidentally from this video and the reason I got the view, I saw it because there was a notification. It said that, where is it? It says here, it said that I want to get baptized. Have you ever uploaded a video within one hour and five views? Somebody wants to be baptized? I was shocked. This is the most difficult truth. To preach and to share you get persecuted you get ridiculed people call you of shoot uh, reform etc etc and uh, you know how the heart is uh... anyway this is think I think God's in, in scared, encouragement to to preaching the straight truth I have a uh, many media ministries helping but i have never observed an experience like this before within one hour you somebody wants to get baptized so i found i tried to contact the person and uh, found her in uh, facebook found her number and she said uh, she is not. Uh, she is keeping the Sabbath. She is not a part of any religious organization. She is reading the Bible, and she wants to get baptized. So I said, let me look for a pastor around a church around your area. I contacted Amazing Fox, 
my friends if I, I asked them if uh, Sir Kevin if he has missionaries in San Jose del Monte and uh, they gave me the contact number of the pastor within one day or two days the pastor found her house contacted her and the next Friday uh, the, the following day they started Bible studies and I just uh, forgot all about it but on December 19 last uh, this is just the, the Sabbath is it December 19 last Sabbath yeah on the day where the video difficult most difficult video I made was to be aired in the Philippine International Church with uh, 200 to 700 uh, concurrent viewers and 10,000 after one day views and it was broadcasted in another church also etc and in the next day in the Monday she messaged me and she said I just happy to say to tell you that I was baptized in the 19th and uh, so on so I asked for pictures and here are the pictures amazing so uh, I don't know I have not observed such uh, wonderful experience I think God is comforting uh, the difficult preaching of the word so why was it difficult because it's about the Sabbath the Monday lesson was about Sabbath cooking and while many other people avoid this topic and uh, try to be as tactful as possible I try also but some sometimes you have to be you have to tell the truth it is the most I think neglected truth I used to persecute people who preach this one but I needed official statements when I look at the official statements they, I was wrong Ellen G. White says God means that testing truth like the Sabbath shall be brought to the front and become a subject of examination and discussion even if it is true the contempt placed upon it the minds of the people must be agitated every controversy reproach every slander you experience this try to preach this uh, topic you will have controversy a reproach slander but they will be God's means of provoking inquiry and awaking minds that otherwise would slumber so I advertise my book I just collected these resources you can see the URL in the down there let me just zoom in a little bit yeah that's the book if you want to uh, get uh, tips this is the most helpful thing because churches they know what the truth is they are fearful about this all this truth official documents tagalog bible npuc tagalog document amazing facts Adventist mission fundamental belief book official statements but these tips are the thing that helps people who want to obey and this is the debate part if you want to, if there are people who have many excuses there are answers here and the most tactful Ellen G. White articles about Sabbath cooking and uh, so this is what I shared I still have some minutes the buying and preparation of food and closing out other necessities of life will be completed before Sunday Friday. Have we forgotten this? Also in Adventist Biblical Research, the same statement. In the archives of the General Conference, the same document. Ellen G. White writings. Cooking on the south should be avoided, but it's not therefore necessary to eat cold food. In cold weather, the food prepared the day before. Most people forget to read this prepared the day before. They make reason that since we can heat therefore we can cook but the uh, paragraph actually says that cold the food that we're going to heat is prepared the day before why would you heat something that you can just cook on the fundamental belief book the yellow the light blue and the colored it says uh, the family's meal should be prepared on the friday there are many people who try to quote scripture so serious that the penalty was death and they pervert it God said Jesus said do not do it to Moses 
SOP says the same, Adventist.org says the same, but they make excuses. So, so we have to teach the truth. It says here, speak not lightly on the restrictions placed upon Israel in Sinai regarding the cooking of manna. Friday should be the preparation day in which we are to uh, do all our cooking. Okay. Let, but let no remarks be made as though it were a very light thing whether or not we regard the special requirements of God in required regard to the Sabbath. It is not left for any man or woman to disregard one requirement of God's law. Furthermore, there is he is also here in AdventistMission.org. <clears throat> is this hard for you? I'm sorry. Uh, please look at my book so you can get about 66 tips on how to do it. There is a woman who doesn't, who is Adventist. His husband was not Adventist. The husband doesn't want to be baptized because the husband said, I don't want to eat stale food on the sab Sabbath. That means they know. In NPUC Tagalog document, I found this in the church, in one of the churches. <clears throat> Dapat tingnan ng ina ang pagkain ay handa na habang ang araw ng Sabado ay nalalapit na. A book in 1968, North Philippine Union Mission. That's the book. CLC, kanyang sinabi sa kanya ito ang iniutos ng Panginoon bukas ay time team na pagpapahinga banal na sabat ng Panginoon. Lutuin ninyo ang inyong lutuin at pakuluan ang pakukuluan at lahat ng labis ay itago ninyo. Inyong ititira habang hanggang kinabukasan. How about amazing facts? I just quote child guidance. The Sabbath is not given to the a repairing of garments and the cooking of food and they quote also Exodus 16.23 <clears throat> we should be careful that we, be, we do not become uh, uh, the prophecy which says of your own self shall men arise speaking ver perverse things let us just quote the Bible and uh, usually we make mistakes in our, our analysis or comments Ellen Jemen says, those who neglect to prepare for the Sabbath, who cook food on Sabbath, violate the fourth commandment. The, tech, the secret is preparation. How about uh, physicians? They say the income for physicians should be put in the Lord's treasury. How about sweeping the streets on Sabbath in GYD day? According to Ted Wilson, we should do we can do sweeping and cleaning and painting and repairing can be done on another day than the sabbath how about mana i also shared this you can just google sid mana angola it's a mana fell on friday in the sid in the sid on the mission station in angola Documented by Signs of the Times and uh, SID Media. How about traveling? Try to avoid, if you have no choice, get the tickets before the Sabbath. Avoid unholy discussions. Try best to reach before the Sabbath and relieve suffering if you have the opportunity. Preach if you can also. <clears throat> How about taking a bath? Remember, Jesus told the man to wash in the pool of Siloam on the Sabbath, John 9. And enjoy bath on the Sabbath. In uh, there's a three reference uh, one, two, three, four, five from Pastor Brian Tolentino of the EG White Estate. The Ellen White says uh, the bath should be done before the sunset, but she also took a bath after the sermon and uh, after writing and before writing on the Sabbath. How about camping? Let us not come to the camp meeting to break the Sabbath by cooking on that day. Some guy was telling that since he said we can prepare uh, this, this gruel, hot gruel, therefore we can cook. But in the paragraph where it says hot gruel, it says in the previous sentence, preparation for the Sabbath should be made on Friday. The next sentence, all cooking should be done. So it's not coherent. <coughs> 
by the way in the media ministries that I have recorded before testimonies that baptize about hundreds per year uh, I observed that about 80% of people who came into the church claim that it is the Sabbath topic that made them decide about 20% claim that about the food topic Leviticus 11 Babui is the one that uh, made them decide and uh, William Johnson said about 10% says that true church doctrine <clears throat> how come the difficult topics are the ones that uh, testimonies claim to have pushed them into the church the difficult ones I think Psalm 19.7 can be understood the law of the Lord is perfect converting the soul so that is my testimony I hope uh, it strengthens your resolve to stand for the truth though the heavens fall God bless you my friends